how to use Astra theme WordPress with Elementor. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use the Astra theme on WordPress and how you can use it to create an amazing looking website with Elementor. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need a domain and a hosting, right? I mean, you don't necessarily need a domain, but if you are going to be, you know, creating a professional looking website, then you're going to need a domain, right? But hosting is more important. And I'm over here on namecheap.com and um, they provide one of the cheapest, you know, hosting plans ever. So they have the cheapest hosting cheapest domains and it's really really nice and it's really easy to use so let's get into it so over here i've already signed up i already have a hosting plan but if you don't have one all you got to do is you just gotta come over here onto hosting and click on wordpress hosting and choose your hosting plan uh they have a free plan over here they give you like you know if you go with the monthly plan they give you a free month for free so that you can test it out and after that they'll charge you so keep that in mind i have this plan right here the supersonic plan with the free ssl and cdn and it's pretty cool all right you can choose whichever one you want it all depends on you but if you go with the yearly plan then you can save up to 50 percent 38 percent and 29 percent on you know these plans so once you have your plan you will be able to create your wordpress website with easy wordpress and you are good to go so over here i already created this website so let me just go into the you know website over here into the admin okay so over here this is the wordpress over here as you can see the domain name is zinho explains.xyz as you can see this is how it looks like once you're logged in to your wordpress dashboard this is how it's going to look like wordpress 9.0 everything looks cool all right so once you're over here you're simply going to go ahead and create your website so let me just visit my website real quick so this is how it looks like pretty simple very generic looking website nothing too crazy over here like a you know this is like a new wordpress website so this is how it looks like now let's go ahead and add some plugins and start creating so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the plugin section and add a new plugin now remember if you are going to be using a free wordpress you know if you don't have a wordpress plan or anything like that if you're using it you know as a free plan then you won't be able to install any plugins whatsoever you're going to need the business or business plus to actually install plugins onto your wordpress website so i already have these two over here so let me just go ahead and activate these two these are pre-installed plugins that you know that come with wordpress all right so once you have done that let's go ahead and add new so click on add new plugins it's going to take you over here into the plugin store where you just simply add new plugins could go with the classic editor but for now we just want to install astra so over here just simply search for astra right here and this will pop up over here the starter templates so over here just simply install the starter templates elementor and wordpress and beaver builder it's going to install and then you just simply you know activate the plugin we're also going to need the elementor header and footer builder as well so again click on install wait for it to be installed and once it's installed just simply click on activate to activate the plugin then what you want to do is search for elementor and this you know plugin will pop up so elementor website builder so we're also going to need to install this one just simply click on install wait for it to be installed and then just simply activate all right so you are good to go now you just simply you know create an account with elementor you know get hello theme site names and all of that but we really don't need to do that it's all good we'll go back to the wordpress dashboard over here and go into plugin section and see if all of the plugins are activated yes as you can see they're all activated let me just update this one right here so now that everything is you know good to go now what we will do is you'll see you have this new option appear over here called appearance now in here you will have your theme your widgets your menu your background and your starter templates as well now let's go ahead and click on themes to view themes that are pre-installed over here so currently these are the themes that were already installed with you know your wordpress update so let me just update my wordpress real quick all right so now that it's updated let's go ahead and go into appearance and underneath appearance you will see you have starter templates so if you click on starter templates it's going to take you over here onto the template section where you can build your website so over here they have three options you have choose your preferred builder over here so you have blog editor by wordpress elementor editor and beaver builder we're going to choose elementor because that is the main topic of this video and once we choose that it's going to take us over here where we have a bunch of different templates to choose from over here you can choose whichever template you feel like it there are premium templates that you have to buy but there are also free templates that you can use as well which i think is pretty awesome so choose whichever template you want whichever works one for you so let's go ahead and search for let's say yoga or fitness all right so over here you also have the personal care over here if you click on yoga you will have all of the yoga 
you know related websites and fitness related websites so choose whichever one you feel like it choose whichever one you think looks good then we can move on so i'm going to choose this website right here and if i click over here this is how it's going to look like over here you can go ahead and upload your logo over here then your logo is going to be popped up over here and it's pretty simple so if you click over here you simply select the logo wait for it to be uploaded once it's uploaded simply click on select and boom this is going to be your logo over here you can increase the width and size of it however you feel like it it all depends on you feel like this is good enough then just simply click on next and then you can choose the overall color of your website as well so i'm gonna stick to the original color because you know red it looks nice and then down below you have your fonts that you can choose from you have a bunch of different fonts that you can choose over here whichever one looks good you can go ahead and choose that right i think this looks good we'll just simply click on continue so over here just enter in your name your work email and some information and you are good to go and then just simply sit back relax and let the, your website be built uh, it's going to take a couple of minutes but it should be good to go so i'm going to pause this video right here i'll catch you guys in a second boom your website is done now we just simply click on view your website and we can go ahead and see it so this is how it looks like over here as you can see this is how it looks like now we can go ahead and edit this website with elementor simply click on edit with elementor and over here it's going to take you to the website editor tool over here where you can edit the website and over here as you can see it's really simple it's really easy you have all of your setting option over here let me put this over here so over here on the left side you have your tools and um, over here this is the website whenever you hover your mouse over a certain you know element it gets highlighted which means that you can go ahead and edit that element so over here if you wanted to like change the background just hover your mouse over here at the top you will see these three buttons click on the middle button which is the edit section over here it's going to open up this little column over here click on style and you can start to edit this website over here you can choose the image click on choose image and you can you know update the image or change the image entirely you can even use free images over here or you can upload your own image over here i'm going to choose free images i'm going to simply search for gym now over here we have a bunch of different images that we can use all right so choose whichever image you feel you know represents this the better that would look good so i feel like maybe this image would look good so i'll just choose the dumbbells over here and i'll just simply click on insert media wait for a couple of seconds and over here as you can see now the image has been changed completely and this is how it looks like same thing over here you can add more images over here you can change this section by clicking over here and typing whatever you want you can add other sections over here it's pretty simple it's really easy so once you've edited your website everything looks good just simply you know exit the editor over here and simply click on update before you do that also whenever you make a change always you know update the website because you never know if something goes bad and you know you're editing your website you forgot to update you finished editing your website, didn't update a single time, suddenly the computer shuts off or the website goes down or your internet disconnects, is, you'll have to do everything over again. So keep updating every single time whenever you make a change. Once you've done that, just simply come over here and click on exit dashboard and you are good to go. So pretty much that's it. That's how you do it. That's how you use the Astra templates and how you can use Elementor to edit your website. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer that as soon as possible. So having said that, I will catch you guys in the next video and until then, take care and goodbye.